Hey everyone, another crush video. This is a, uh, a standard three and a half inch uh, um, hard drive. This one actually came out of uh, an original Xbox. Um, not sure what the size is. I think it's I think it's um, I think it's only 120 gigabyte or something. It's not very big. And you know, I figured um, this crushed that two and a half inch. PlayStation hard drive so well, but why not see what it can do to a full-size hard drive? Now, I have my doubts. I have my doubts. It can actually bend it, but you never know. This this thing's actually proven itself time and time again. So we'll see, we'll see what it can do. I'm going to give it its best possible chance and have the wood just holding it at the edges of the hard drive. Hopefully we'll get something pretty cool. You can say I I have my doubts. No. Wow, that is very unfortunate. can probably do is adjust the wood a little bit more, get even closer to the edge. Oh, come on. Wow. And that's exerting 1,200 pounds of force. That's one tough hard drive. Um, I'll try the other side, just in case that side is more resilient than the other side, but I'll give it a whirl anyway. This might just be the first thing that it won't crush. All right. Oh, it's having more luck on this side. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, it's gonna stall. Well, it's definitely gotten farther. Oh. No, it won't go any further than that. Well, it did get farther. And I did hear something snap. I wonder what broke. Wow, it, ac it actually has bent it. Not much, but it it's actually bent it and it's cracked it right through there. You know, and this side hasn't cracked yet, but there's, oh, you can see why. Look how much more aluminum there is on this side than that side. I'll give it another try. Maybe weakening the one side has weakened this side as well. And I'll put it right near the edge. So hopefully this won't move too much. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give it one more go on this on the tough side. Now, there's just too much, too much aluminum on that side. It just can't do it. Um, I do have an idea though. All right, so I've lowered I've lowered it a little bit, so I'm, so the tip of the metal bar will actually dig in. We'll see, see if that makes any difference. Oh, 
Wow. I figured that would have made more of a difference than that. Apparently not. Well, I'll try it on the weak side. It is giving out more. No. I don't know if all hard drives are this tough, but this one, this one is certainly, uh, certainly uh, hard to uh, go through. I mean, no doubt that this hard drive will probably never run again. I mean, that's some crazy force. I suppose I could try it on the back. Let's, let's, out of curiosity, let's just try it on the back. Make it bend the other way. Yeah, nothing. There's just too much aluminum there. Probably seen for this side, although this side just got the circuit board. Yeah, it's just not going to go through it, which I kind of had a hunch that it wouldn't, but you don't know until you try. But it, this hard drive is just heavy to begin with. There's a lot of aluminum on it. Hey, let me get this rubber off here, give you a better look at the actual damage. Got a rubber gimp suit. Wow, very shiny. But wow, look at the damage. Damn. That is very shiny. It's actually perforated through. So you can actually see inside the drive. I can see I can see the a bit of the platter, which has probably been destroyed. That's a pretty deep gouge. It's ripped it's ripped this off a bit. I don't think it's actually cracked the circuit board. There's where the teeth were pushing down. There's a little indentation right there and there. But really, other than that, I'll I'll just uh, pop it open just to show you guys any damage that occurred on the inside. Okay, so I got the screws out and the seal tape around it. I've not actually had this cover off, so I don't know what the damage is any more than you do. But uh, let's let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, the definite this hard drive is definitely never going to uh, read or write or spin again. Surprised there's only one platter, and surprised it didn't shatter like um, that laptop hard drive did for the PS3. But I can see why it didn't bend this. There's that's a lot of friggin' aluminum. No wonder this thing's so damn heavy. Oh, the head still moves. Yeah, so, uh... Well, that's that's about it. So hit the like button, hit dis or dislike, subscribe, uh, and thanks for watching, everybody.